Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Nikola Tanasic, <laughs> and I come from the, the Academy of Applied Studies Polytechnic in Belgrade, Serbia, but uh, Professor Aranjelovic uh, uh, is uh, the main and corresponding author, but I will uh, try to represent him uh, in this uh, case. Uh, so, uh, this paper uh, deals with uh, some uh, methodologies that uh, we can apply uh, to um, determine uh, the um, <coughs> uh, class of uh, fire resistance of uh, building uh, structures. In this part of uh, Europe, uh, uh, we usually uh, rely on uh, some uh, German or uh, European uh, standards or uh, codes uh, in this uh, area. However, uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, building structures that are used for uh, boiler houses, like, uh, for example, in uh, uh, district heating uh, systems or uh, industrial uh, facilities, uh, this set of uh, norms or standards is not uh, not uh, applicable. So uh, in this paper, uh, we tried to uh, find some uh, novel approach uh, to present uh, um, uh, uh, to present the methodology uh, to determine the necessary fire resistance of the uh, building uh, structure on the case study of. Uh, a, a boiler uh, a boiler room uh, we have some uh, uh, methodology that is uh, usually applied uh, for uh, fire resistance uh, uh, class that is uh, euro alarm standard and also uh, which is based on the uh, the methodology of uh, scientist uh, Purt and also uh, some uh, uh, Gretener methodology that uh, have two versions. One uh, is issued by uh, Austrian uh, uh, Fire Protection uh, Association, TRVB, and uh, the second one uh, is a bit different, and uh, it is a part of the SIA code or norm uh, that is issued by the Swiss Society of Engineers and uh, uh, Architects. Uh, in order to uh, determine the fire resistance uh, of the building structure, we uh, have to had to assume some uh, uh, assumptions. So, uh, installation of an automatic fire alarm system. Uh, with, which is typical for, for these types of uh, buildings. Also that we have a constant presence of a person uh, on, on uh, duty yeah, who, who will uh, notice uh, the fire uh, alarm. Uh, what is else? The sufficient number of fire extinguishing, uh, uh, fire extinguishers, extinguishers uh, uh, that can be used uh, before the uh, arrival of the fire brigade. So the existence of the uh, hydrant installation and uh, the location of the building that uh, should be in the range of the five uh, kilometers from the, uh, the closest uh, uh, fire brigade uh, uh, unit. Uh, also, uh, we have to provide uh, some uh, available uh, space for the uh, fire brigade uh, uh, intervention. Uh, other assumptions include uh, existence of mechanical uh, of uh, mechanical ventilation system, but not necessarily uh, heat and smoke uh, control system, just regular uh, ventilation. Also, uh, the shape and the area of uh, the building should uh, not uh, be uh, uh, higher than uh, uh, 3,000 uh, uh, square meters and uh, not more than 40 meters in uh, width. Uh, the boiler room is located on the uh, ground floor. 
uh, there are no other floors below or uh, under above the sorry above the boiler room and also uh, it is it should be a, a freestanding uh, building uh, or a part of some industrial uh, uh, building no combustible materials are built into the boiler room or the construction of the building uh, uh, heating duty or uh, heating capacity of the boiler of the boilers installed in this uh, room uh, should not exceed uh, one uh, gigawatt and uh, no fuel is stored in the building room this is all uh, uh, typical for some uh, district heating boiler rooms and industrial industrial uh, boiler rooms uh, in our country, uh, especially. So the first uh, uh, method, uh, Purt, uh, with the scientist Purt, defined the first, and it, it was uh, lately, um, mm, uh, it was made uh, uh, as an uh, euro alarm uh, uh, code that uh, calculates uh, the uh, fire risk of the structure construction and the fire risk of the structure contents. So we have uh, uh, two equations uh, that uh, we should uh, uh, calculate with some uh, uh, coefficients. Uh, what is uh, important here uh, uh, to uh, address is the movable specific fire load that uh, is directly from the uh, type of the building and also the fuels that are uh, uh, used in the building and uh, also it uh, uh, depends on the uh, of the heating duty or, or heating capacity of the boiler so in in this case uh, uh, we used the 251 megajoules per uh, square uh, meter and uh, also the other coefficients uh, uh, we can see in, in this equation are uh, 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 used from the, this uh, methodology based on the assumptions and uh, uh, the real conditions in the uh, boiler room. So when we combine these uh, two equations, uh, the only uh, unknown is these two factors, B and uh, W, uh, and uh, this inequality between uh, between them. So uh, this can be satisfied uh, only when the uh, boiler room is with area, sorry, with area less than uh, uh, 3,000 uh, square meters, which was our uh, initial uh, assumption. And uh, in that uh, case, uh, the structure uh, can... Uh, so the, the, the structure uh, needs to satisfy at least uh, 30 minutes of, uh, to be uh, resistant on, on uh, uh, fire. This is the conclusion for, for, uh, from uh, this methodology. And uh, to verify this, we use the uh, Gretener's method with both versions. So uh, in uh, the... Uh, Austrian uh, version or the Austrian uh, standard, we uh, calculate uh, the factor of preventive fire protection measures, as we can see in the equation number five. And uh, also uh, it accounts for the uh, fire sector area, the uh, fire sector uh, width, and uh, some uh, uh, coefficients that, that take uh, into account uh, the uh, fire brigade intervention factor, that is how close the, the fire brigade is from the building. Also the uh, factor of fire activation, uh, people's harm factor, specific fire load that we used in the, the previous methodology, uh, factor of, of uh, combustibility, smoke hazard factor, corrosion hazard, 
which can be uh, from some uh, chemical plants when we had a, a, a fire in the chemical plants. In this case, uh, we don't have this uh, uh, corrosion uh, uh, hazard factor and the building height uh, factor. When we account for the, all the coefficients, uh, we uh, uh, can see the results so that this uh, 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 result is less uh, than one. So based on these uh, uh, recommendations, the fire resistant of the structure is also uh, 30, uh, at least 30 minutes. So uh, the first methodology is also uh, said, we had the same uh, conclusion. And uh, the second uh, version of Gretenes method by um, SIA uh, uh, code or standard also calculates uh, some uh, fire risk based on the different uh, uh, factors and coefficients. Uh, and uh, in, in this case, uh, we obtained that uh, this fire risk factor depends only upon the factor of fire load, QS, and factor of combustion, uh, CS. And uh, then we calculated uh, this uh, factor for, for, uh, different, uh, for different uh, fire loads and uh, different uh, types of uh, fuels. So uh, here we can see also that uh, for the fire load that is between uh, 200 and uh, uh, 418, we have uh, the, the same uh, 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 fire time resistance of uh, 30 minutes. So uh, to summarize and uh, conclude, uh, uh, we used uh, three different uh, methodologies in this paper to address uh, the fire structure uh, resistance for a, a boiler house uh, building that is uh, typical in uh, not only in Serbia, but in this part of uh, uh, Europe and uh, uh, conclude that, uh, that in this case, when you have a production or generating energy, uh, uh, it is sufficient to provide fire resistant of the building structure of uh, 30 minutes and uh, this is something that that can be uh, usually uh, um, done uh, or satisfied with uh, the standard uh, uh, types of buildings like brick or uh, concrete buildings uh, which are uh, used in I said in in this area in this uh, part of, of Europe so uh, that will be all I thank you for your attention.